Welcome. My name is Ben Graham. This is our second organization for collaboration video in the Spec Lab. Today, we're talking about Google Drive desktop and folder structure. So all of our lab work product, all of our, along with all of our task sheets, our timesheets, everything lab related are currently saved to shared folders in Google Drive. So to get started, the first thing you're going to need to do is to install Google Drive desktop on your computer. Um, when this is done correctly, the shared lab folders are housed both on your local computer and mirrored in the cloud <laughs> and mirrored in the cloud so that everyone on your team has access to the same folder. Every time you update a file or create a new one, that file syncs over to your teammates' computers as well. I'm not going to cover installation of Google Drive Desktop right now. That changes frequently. Um, it's different for Mac and PC. But I'm going to talk to you about how to work with our spec folders once you have Google Drive Desktop set up. We much prefer Drive Desktop over Backup and Sync because we want your work product saved to our shared folders while you're working on it, not uploaded there later when you think it's done. This is huge because the work product you never quite finish is the stuff your teammates most need to access, right? When you get sick and you're unexpectedly out, that kind of thing. A first note for working in Google Drive Desktop is that because what you have on your computer is mirrored to all your colleagues' computers, if you accidentally delete a file, you can delete it from everyone's computer. So how do we avoid that? Simple. We never delete anything. Let me say that again. We never delete anything. Anytime a file becomes obsolete, you don't delete it. You simply place it in a folder titled archive or outdated. Don't delete archive. Storage is cheap. Deleting your colleague's work product on accident is expensive. All right. So how are these spec folders organized? Um, my screen is shared here, and you can see what my Google Drive looks like. Um, and I'm going to start by talking about this spec for everyone folder, which, as the title suggests, is a folder that everyone in the lab has access to. When we have, we also have individual folders for each research project, right? I have mine all kept in this project folders folder here. Um, these house the actual work product related to each project, and only lab members working on a given research project have access to that project folder. Um, the project folders uh, include like all the data, the R scripts, the tables, the figures, the case studies, the drafts of the papers, right? So the guts of these folders look different for each project, but the concept is, is pretty simple. Uh, so now let's look at spec for everyone. Um, and if I open that up, right, if I open up spec for everyone, um, we'll see a few different things inside there. Uh, and we're going to open up the fall 2021 first here. Uh, which is where we have all of our team folders for this semester. We haven't gotten them all set up yet, but we can uh, look at this Talus team folder first. Um, okay. So what we have in here, right, we've got our team timesheet. We've got our task sheet. Um, we have like some notes that I made for the team about my research priorities and our, some project descriptions. We also have this folder called temporary work product home. Um, so if you're on the Talus team and you really can't figure out where to put something you're working on, maybe it's for a project that hasn't even really started yet, you save it here while you're working on it, and then your team lead or your PI will help you figure out where it really belongs, right? Which is going to be in a project folder, right? Um, nothing should stay in this temporary work product <laughs> location for very long, right? But what we really don't want is you to save something to your desktop or save it locally without putting it somewhere other people can, can access it. All right. If we look in this handbooks and templates and guides folder, just what it sounds like, your lab handbook, templates for team meeting notes, timesheets, task sheets, payroll processing, all this kind of stuff, resources, best practice guides that we all need access to. Now, this lab literature review folder um, is a little bit different, and it's a little bit new. Um, so let's get this open. right? And what we've got in here. Uh, are all of the lab, all of the literature reviews created for any project across the lab. And we're actually still in the process of moving some of our old literature reviews out of the project folders and into this location in spec for everyone. And we want it in spec for everyone because uh, the literatures that we draw on are often relevant across different projects. We might put together a literature review while we're working on the interdependence and conflict paper that covers the same literature that we need to be reviewing and referencing for the Beyond Conquest book 
um, being worked on maybe by a totally different team of RAs. So we want these literature reviews in a central location where everyone can access them. Each literature review gets its own folder and that folder has a title that should be clear to folks working on totally unrelated projects. You'll notice not quite all the titles are there yet. Um, this is very much a folder that's still work in progress as of fall 2021. Um, but we wanna be able to scan the list of folder titles and know whether the lab has put together a lit review on a given topic before. Um, if we look inside uh, one of these literature reviews, let's maybe take this firm level survey one, you'll see that first we have the actual literature review document itself, sometimes a Word doc, sometimes an Excel sheet. Um, and then we also have a folder which has PDFs of the articles that are reviewed here, right? Okay. Sometimes you may not have downloaded the PDFs of the articles. We don't always ask you to do that. That's fine. Maybe the only thing in, your, in that folder is the literature review itself. That's okay. Um, but this is where things go. All right, that's where I'm going to end this video. I'll pick up the next one, uh, talking about file types, file names, headers, annotation. All right. Thanks for being with me.